The Venture Rewards card used to be the top tier travel card from Capital One, but recently it has been dethroned by the new king in town, the Venture X. And today we're going to review it. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Maths Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. Now despite the intro to this video, the Venture Rewards card is still a very good credit card for a lot of people. It has a $95 annual fee, but when we're now talking about these super premium credit cards in the travel space, $95 and the benefits that come with it just don't cut it anymore. Once you elevate to that super top tier of travel credit cards, we're now talking about annual fees of three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700. So the all new kid on the block is the Capital One Venture X Rewards credit card. It's the first ever super premium credit card offering from Capital One and competes with the lights of the Chase Sapphire Reserve, US Bank Altitude Reserve, and others. And like with every new card launch, people always wonder, should I go apply for it right now? Should I get it later? Or should I never get it at all. So in today's video, we'll be going over the features, perks, benefits, rewards, insurance coverages, and more, and then wrapping up at the end with helping you determine if you should submit an application or perhaps if it's not the right type of card for you. As I record this video in late November 2021, the current welcome offer is 100,000 miles after you spend $10,000 on purchases in the first six months of opening your card account. But there's also a part two. You can also earn a $200 vacation rental credit for eligible merchants including Airbnb, Turnkey, Vacasa, and Verbo. Now the value of just the miles portion of this bonus is going to be around $1,000 or potentially a bit more depending on how you redeem them for travel. Now for earning miles long term beyond the bonus, this card will award you 10 miles per dollar on hotels when you book through the Capital One travel portal, 10 miles per dollar also for rental cars when you book through the same portal, and also 5 miles per dollar on flights, again through the Capital One portal. Then there's two miles per dollar on all other purchases. The annual fee on this card is $395. It definitely ain't cheap, but when you compare it to other super premium cards on the market from like four other major card issuing banks, it's actually the least expensive of all of them. So if you're looking for a top tier travel credit card at a discount, then Capital One's definitely worth looking at. Now, since three out of the four point multiplier categories require you to book through the Capital One portal, here's an actual screenshot of what it looks like. It's a very clean, simple design, very easy to navigate, and currently you can book flights, hotels, and car rentals. And you may notice there at the very bottom right hand corner, this is powered by Hopper. And the reason why that's so cool is because Hopper provides a lot of really cool travel features that other portals don't have. This includes knowing when to buy and when to wait because the Capital One portal can predict flight prices with 95% accuracy and alert you when it's best to book. And when you book, you can do so with free price drop protection. There are also built-in rewards and features of the portal, plus getting the lowest hotel prices guaranteed. That's because the prices through the portal can be proactively adjusted to guarantee that they match or beat at Expedia and other travel sites. And lastly, if you find a better price somewhere else, they will match it. So although Although this video is a review of the card and not the portal, the two still go hand in hand very, very well. Okay, so you've been earning miles like crazy with your new Venture X card, but now once you go to redeem them, what type of value can you expect to get? Well, while there are a variety of ways to redeem your miles, I put four of the most common ways to do so up on the screen. The first is transfer partners, which means you literally take your Capital One Venture miles and convert them into air miles or hotel points of another program. And because you're dealing with so many different programs, each of which have their own values, an average figure you may be able to get for your miles here would be around 1.85 cents each. So 100,000 miles could be worth around $1,850. Option two is to redeem for travel when you literally pay with miles at checkout out within the Capital One portal. This gives you a guaranteed flat one cent per point for flights, hotels, and car rentals. So 100,000 miles is worth $1,000. Option three is still travel, but this is to cover travel purchases later as a statement credit, meaning you actually purchased a, perhaps a flight, hotel, whatever else it may be, maybe directly with those merchants outside of the Capital One portal, and then you later want to redeem your miles to wipe out those transactions. Using this method still gives you a flat one cent per point on all your travel purchases, so 100,000 miles is still worth $1,000. Then lastly, we have cash back as a statement credit or a check in the mail, which gives you one half of one cent per point, 
so 100,000 miles is worth $500. The Venture X is a true travel credit card, meaning you earn travel rewards and you should also redeem for travel. Cashback really should not have any place in the picture. Now to further clarify between those two middle categories of traveling when you pay with miles at checkout versus when you cover travel purchases later, here are a couple helpful screenshots. When you pay with miles at checkout, you're literally using your venture miles through the Capital One travel portal during the booking process. So here I searched for a flight from Las Vegas to Denver, Colorado, and there at the bottom you can also see select an account. The first option is to apply venture rewards. I have 23,860 miles worth $238.60 towards travel, or I can also choose to uh, do not apply my rewards, which I could then just charge to my card and earn miles. But then if you happen to purchase travel outside of Capital One's portal, so for example here, I stayed at a Hyatt hotel and I booked directly with Hyatt, I simply charge it to my Capital One Venture card. It would be the same with the Venture Ets, by the way. I could then log into my Capital One account after my trip is over and then see my purchases that I made, choose the ones I want to do. So for example, that top one there is Hyatt Hotels for $445.82, which would need 44,582 miles to wipe it out completely. But I could of course apply whatever I have. So I could apply those 23,860 against that to basically cut my price in half. Using this approach simply results in a statement credit to lower your card balance. And of course, there are other redemption options available as well, including gift cards, redeeming with PayPal or Amazon, and some other options as well to transfer your rewards from one account to another. And by the way, for transfer partners, Capital One simply calls that convert rewards. So that's the option you would choose to transfer out to another airline or hotel program. Speaking of which, here's the current list of airline and hotel transfer partners with Capital one, airlines on the left, hotels on the right, right now it's just Wyndham Rewards, and most of these, not all, do transfer at a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning if you start with 10,000 venture miles, that will become 10,000 air miles or 10,000 hotel points in the respective program. Do be aware, however, that this transfer ratio has nothing to do with the value you actually receive. Just because you start with 10K and end with 10K, it's then up to you to use your new air miles or your new hotel points in those other programs programs to book your itinerary and then get value on that end of the equation. All right, are you all ready for some perks and benefits of this card? Because this one actually has a pretty nice suite of different benefits that really go nicely to help you recoup that $395 annual fee. And in fact, the first benefit helps you recover almost all of it. Benefit number one is a $300 annual travel credit. This is an automatic statement credit for travel booked via the Capital One Travel Portal. It's issued as one credit if the purchase is greater than or equal to $300, or as multiple credits until the $300 maximum is met. And it normally appears in one to seven business days, but may take up to two billion cycles to appear. Benefit number two is a 10,000 mile anniversary bonus. So each account anniversary year, you'll receive 10,000 bonus miles. And those miles are worth at least $100 toward travel, by the way. So already we've got a $300 travel credit plus a 10,000 mile or $100 anniversary credit. So those together are $400 of value. You're paying 395. So even if you do nothing else and just use those two benefits to book at least one trip per year, Capital One's almost like paying you $5 to have the card. And benefit number three is airport lounge access, which has two parts. The first part is the Capital One Lounge. With this card, you'll receive unlimited visits with up to two guests at no charge, and additional guests are $45 each, which is actually a discounted rate compared to the public rate, which is $65. And part two is Priority Pass, which has a current list of about 1,300 partner lounges worldwide, and you get unlimited visits to Priority Pass lounges, also with up to two guests and no charge. And if you decide to bring additional guests beyond those two, you'll pay the day pass rate for them, which is currently $32 each. And this does include access to Priority Pass restaurants, by the way. I believe most Priority Pass restaurants are currently giving $28 of credit toward food and beverage at those locations. And since Capital One lounges are a brand new airport lounge concept as of the filming of this video, right now there's only one location open in DFW, with a couple more already in the pipeline, including Washington Dulles IAD and Denver International Airport DEN. These are very, very nice retreats or safe havens, if you will, from the chaos down below in the airport terminals. I've already visited the lounge myself and I really, really liked it. It's a super premium, clean, well-run place with incredible staff that are really gonna help you out with a lot of different things. And some of the amenities include high-speed Wi-Fi, grab-and-go food, dining stations, fully stocked bars, coffee bars, 
quiet work zones with charge up areas, relaxation rooms, luggage lockers, cycling and yoga rooms, shower suites. There's also of course bathrooms and a whole lot more too. Now let's check out benefits part two. The benefits continue with a global entry and TSA pre-check credit. You'll receive up to a $100 statement credit to cover the application fee for either program, up to $100 every four years, and this credit will appear on your card account within one to two billion cycles. Next, we have free authorized users, and this is a huge benefit of this card. You can add up to four authorized users at no charge at all, which means no increase in your annual fee, and each authorized user will receive their own Priority Pass membership and it can bring two guests of their own. Third on the list is Hertz President Circle Elite Status for all of your car rentals with Hertz. This allows you to receive benefits like skip the counter, e-return, guaranteed upgrades, free additional drivers, and more. Enrollment is required for this benefit, by the way, and authorized users are also eligible for this status when you enroll them too. We've also got Visa Infinite benefits, including access to the Luxury Hotel Collection for upgrades, breakfast for two, early late checkout, etc. That is a separate portal from the Capital One portal, by the way. And lastly, there are no foreign transaction fees on this card, so it's a great one to use on your trips outside the US. Following this, we also have some great insurance and protections on the card, including trip cancellation and interruption insurance, trip delay reimbursement, lost luggage reimbursement, travel accident insurance, cell phone protection, primary rental car insurance, purchase protection, return protection, and extended warranty protection. Feel free to pause this screen as long as you like to read over the fine print details. Okay, it's time. Should you get the Capital One Venture X? Let's find out. You should consider getting this card if you value the simplicity of using one card for everything while earning travel rewards. That's because this card earns two miles per dollar on all purchases as the minimum base rate, which is very, very good. Also, if you normally pay cash for hotels, rental cars, and flights, you might want to consider this card because those are the ones that earn the most miles per dollar. And of course, if you want to earn miles quickly, you'll want to make sure that you normally spend in those categories. Third, if you're willing to book travel via the Capital One portal and or use transfer partners. Those are the two ways to get the most value for your miles on the redemption side. Also, if you want access to Capital One lounges as that network continues to grow, if you want Hertz President Circle status because you already normally uh, rent with Hertz and you want time-saving benefits like skip the counter or upgrades, uh, if you want one of the best Priority Pass memberships available on the market today, uh, mostly due to the uh, two guests plus unlimited visits and authorized user access, which is really, really powerful. And lastly, the two standout insurance protections I would say would be cell phone protection and primary rental car insurance. So if those two are of value to you, you'll definitely wanna look uh, into getting this card into your wallet. But despite all that awesomeness, you should not consider this card if you don't travel at least two to three times per year, never pay cash for travel, don't stay at hotels or rent cars while traveling, aren't willing to book travel via the Capital One portal, don't live near or fly through airports with Capital One lounges, aren't willing to pay a $395 annual fee, and if you prefer cashback rewards. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Maths Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all your credit cards and rewards in one place. A real strong point of this card is simplicity. Basically, you get it, you give Capital One $400 in the form of the annual fee, it can earn back that whole fee and basically two benefits, the credit and the anniversary bonus. All the extra Visa Infinite benefits, protections, insurance coverages, lounge access, 10 mile per dollar categories to earn rewards and more are all just added value on top of all that. And unlike some other cards in this industry, you won't have to worry about tons of credits and benefits that are temporary or quarterly or annual or semi-annual, and there's no complexity of that to really squeeze out value. It gives you the fundamentals of a premium car with some additional extras on top and helps you get on your way to have a nice trip. So at this point of the video, I now open the door to all of you to write some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts about this card. Do you like it or not and why? Also, if you have a favorite perk or benefit, also let me know what it is. I thank you all for tuning into today's video. I hope it brought you some great value and now helps you along your own decision-making process of whether or not to get this card. I look forward to seeing you again in future videos. And while you're waiting on the next upload, remember, you are great.